All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time presented to you by Beat Down Promotions. Your main event sponsor here is Apex Facades. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Peter Hickmont. Well, come on, Eaton's Hill, let's raise the roof. It's the moment of truth. Let's make some noise. This is Beat Down. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. Weighed in officially 66.05 kilos. From the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, trained out of the Ignite MMA gym, brings it to the cage. A fight record of three fights, one win, two losses. Make some noise. This is Jamie Snickers Edenton. And now her opponent standing across in the red corner. Weighed in officially 66.25 kilos. From Auckland, New Zealand, trained out of the city kickboxing gym. Her professional record, 13 fights, 6 wins, 4 by way of knockout. She is an international star, a Bellator sensation, a fight name known worldwide tonight. She steps into the cage down under for the first time in six years. I give you the globe trotting, trend setting, game changing, Janae Holopoy Hardy! Hey, mate. Hey. Okay, ladies, welcome. We went through the rules earlier on. Make sure you listen to my command at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. When I say stop, you stop. You understand? Good luck to you both. Hook them up. Come back ready for work. Ooh, goosebumps, Jaden Binney. This fight made possible by Apex Facades, your rope access and high construction go. solution, rigging, facade maintenance, Stop. high release glazing, and much more. Head to apexfacades.com.au. And of course, this entire card made possible by Next Gen Constructions, as immediately the girls get to striking, and Edenden makes no bones about where she wants to fight. Almost too easily, Janae is able to get the underhook, turn it around, frames on the neck, and breaks. Edenden looking for looks. Harding giving her one, giving her two. Edenden looks a little bit open at the moment. She's shugging her shoulders, but it's at the cost of her hands coming down. Yeah, that left high kick of Janae has got, it got on target. It just didn't didn't really like the angle it just wasn't quite having that that power behind it but it was right on the chin it's like nothing's forced from both girls he didn't land the right hand not too much behind it but enough for harding to think about another two shots for Edenden. putting the cost in she puts a big right hand across the jaw of janae harding trading kicks to the girls Harding looking unfazed, but neither is Eden. Looks like Janae's trying to draw out some strikes. Yeah, absolutely. She... A lot of feints, which is unsurprising coming from, from City Kickboxing, but it looks like it's working for her so far. Hasn't seen the look that she wants just yet. Eden creeping forward, looking to counter Janae with the kicks. Looks like Jamie Edenden is following the plan, according to her corner. And she's landed far more shots than Janae thus far. Very, very patient is Edenden. She's almost stalking Janae, not giving too much away and taking a lot. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like Dan Hook is directing Janae to, to keep her kicks lower. Looked like Edenden was doing a good job swarming. Yeah, there was Janae. another, yeah, another right hand and another one on top of that. Yeah, the especially. right hand seems to have found a home for Jamie Edenden. Yeah, absolutely. Especially off off uh, off Janae's kicks. She looks to close the distance and it's working for her. Janae choosing to go first. It's doing better for her already. Setting these strikes up. Going low yet again, Edenden getting just out of the way. Janae going low, going high with kicks. 
Eden and the teams thus far just to be counter right hands with the hook thrown in for good measure. Janae putting up the high guard. Staying super composed as Eden looks for the shot. Yeah, nice work by Eden Den getting the attention up high, just throwing those this couple of punches at the head. Doesn't matter if they land and then straight in on the hips. Feelers again. Eden Den almost square with the hands down. It's almost like a trap. She looks to be there to be hit, but she gets just out of the way. She throws that right hand back as a counter. And she's cutting him off the cage as well. Janae looking for that right hand almost too much. It's there, but she's almost throwing it just that moment too late. It's almost on the step of Edenden as she's coming forwards. Eden did not phased at all. Looking to put some serious leather on every single counter. Brilliant, another one. Jamie Eden is finding a home and it's the poise and it's the relaxation. Absolutely, and that full body commitment as well. Every time she misses, she just loads up for the next punch. Jaden, excuse me, Janae putting that right hand out, she's almost hanging out there, admiring her work, and sometimes with these little gloves, the double forearm guard just isn't going to cut it. Janae almost chipping away. Not a lot of significance thus far. A good right hand from Janae, and Eden sends him back. As soon as Janae started attacking, she went down and dropped the level. Very smart from Edenden. I have to say, a very strong round from Edenden. Janae hitting some of her shots, but they were mostly chipping away. The biggest shots were landed by Jamie Edenden. Yeah, it, it looks to me like Edenden is definitely happy to take one, to give one. Um, especially when it comes to those low kicks. Yep, and our next-gen construction replay. Boom, even there. Janae's just kind of there to be hit after she's throwing. And everything for Edenden is coming off the right hand. A big kick up high. Doesn't find its home. Exactly to your point, it doesn't even matter if one of Janae's lands, she's just throwing back for the sake of throwing. And a lot of the time she is landing. Yeah, absolutely. Could be the winning formula as we move into round two of our main event. All right, good, good, do it again. Good. The strategy of Jamie Edenden seems to be to get Janae to throw in bunches and then drop that level, but the counters have also been there. Beautiful use of feints by Janae to get Jamie Edenden thinking. But almost every time Edenden goes, it's almost always a right hand. Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 hard to to faint against someone who who doesn't care what you're gonna do. Yeah. They're, just, they're just gonna throw their punch no matter what. It's a great point. It's a great point. Oh, and beautiful, Jay Harding using that karate black belt. But it wasn't so much the kick as it was the jab after it. Now she's looking to jab and move, which is much more effective. She's going first, and she cracks Edenden with the right hand. Working behind the jab, going first is working for Janae. Edenden now looks a little bit more flustered than she did in the first. She's parrying down that side. It looks like these shots are bothering her. She tries to get back on the scoreboard, using some feints of her own. Beautiful shot to the abdomen. Janae with, with a nice guard. Sometimes when you go forwards, offense is the best defense. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in these smaller gloves, it's 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 just not realistic to keep your hands up and, and cover up shots. You have to move your head and, and, and counter straight away. Janae almost reaching there, but it has been the straight shot for Janae that have worked and we're in a double leg shot now as Eden takes Janae down and immediately she scoots to the cage. 
So calm and composed, Janae. Puts the guard up, puts the leg up. Gets her feet underneath herself and she's back on her feet. And Edenden just making her wear all of her weight as she does it. Brilliant poise from both girls. Edenden almost hanging on to the body lock. It's seemingly a futile attempt. The locked out arms of Janae using less strength than the strength of Eden and needing to hold it together at this point. Yeah, for sure. At, at that point, it can gas out the grip, trying to keep that body lock, and, and at some point, it's no longer efficient. And a little tight whip from Edenden, and she takes the center with Janae following. A little bit of a reach from Janae. And she pays the cost. When Janae's going first, she's gaining ground, but she's not reaching, she's doing quite well. Because she's building off those feints. That right hand ever present of Edenden. Yeah, you can really see that boxing experience she has, and the head movement as well. Just like that, even, even when Eden misses, she moves her head, she loads up for the next attack, and she just goes again. Sometimes it's like after Janae throws, she just puts her hand up and almost just waits for the punch to come. Yeah. Rather than thinking about her own game. When she's jabbing, oh, the right hand. When she's going first, and she's keeping Jamie Edenden, stopping her from getting set, she's doing far better. And Edenden just wills yet another takedown. And yet again, Janae works back to her feet. Edenden is doing a fantastic job of even just getting anything effective going. Whether it's the counter strikes, whether it's the kicks, whether it's the takedowns. But she's making this a much more complicated fight, strangely in a very simple way. Yeah, I think Janae is doing a good job not, not being inefficient though. She, she gets taken down and she got straight back up and it's hard to say who ends up more exhausted after that. When you, you hit a big takedown like that, the person just gets straight back up. Sometimes it's, it's more tiring for the person hitting the takedown. It's a really good point. It's very difficult to tell. And sometimes it takes a minute for, for us to see who it is. Eden and mouth wide open. Oh, she hits Janae. There's a big right hand and Janae's down. Eden is going to work. Janae gets her legs underneath her. Eden is just going to work with his arm punches. She has definitely got Janae's respect. And Janae works to try and get a takedown of her own. But that big shot was all Jamie Eden did. Brilliant recovery from Hardy. We have ourselves a main event, and we have ourselves a fight. <laughs> Next-gen construction replay. The, the stinging jab was there for Janae early on. Big takedown for Edenden was as well. And it's these in-betweens where Edenden was able to hit her strikes, was able to hit her takedowns, was able to go to work. And a big one-two cracks Janae over the top. A huge fight. A huge fight full of action so far. It's lived up to the billing and we're going into the third round in what appears to be a fantastic main event. Jamie Edenden rising to the occasion. All right, you good? You good? Finish it off. Janae looking like she's getting into the activity, but I think it's those straight punches that really were working for her. Staying busy, using her feints, keeping the jab in the face of Jamie Edenden and keeping her feet underneath her, not reaching. Keeping the jab in her face and looking for the right hand was working. And the, the same is almost true for Edenden. The right hand has been the story of the fight, as well as finding the level change and hitting the takedowns.
Janae's still working, looking for those shots, reaching a little bit. It's hard to tell, but she could be two rounds down as we head into this third one. Yeah, I was just thinking, probably see a little bit more urgency out of Janae in this last round. A right hand from Janae, and Edenden just eats it. But it just goes to show that that is the path to victory. It's working behind the jab for Janae. And it's a counter right hand almost for Edenden. And yet again, the right hand. Both of them chipping away at each other. And right hand from Janae Harding again. So hard to faint against Edenden's style. She, she yeah. just... She's 100% happy to take one, to give one, and, and she's just going to throw that right hand down the pipe no matter what. I mean, she's hitting Janae even if she's fainted. Yeah. More activity, most definitely, from Harding here, but it needs to accumulate to something, in my opinion. Well, there's a little bit of redness and swelling on the leg of Edenden, but prob probably not enough to start making that potentially end the fight here. Janae almost apprehensive to get in the face of Edenden, which is the path to victory. But you'd almost be too close or too far at this point. Work from the clinch. If you throw that 1-1-2 one, one, down the middle and you get into the clinch, work from there. Because Edenden's just going to keep doing this all day long. Right hand from Janae. Being the more active fighter, definitely in this third round. In terms of volume and frequency. But for something drastic to happen, I do believe Janae might need the finish. Yeah, I agree with you there, Jake. But it's so difficult, especially with everything you seem to do. Edenden has an answer for it, and that answer's the right hand. Yeah, abs <laughs> absolutely. She, she definitely looks most comfortable at that at that close boxing range, which is, if you want a quick finish, that that's usually where you want to be. That's where you want to risk it. So I don't mind this from Janae. At least getting something happening. Edenden able to easily turn her around and thwart the momentum. Janae super crafty on the cage. We've seen that all night, being able to stand back up again, being able to turn Edenden around. They're seemingly struggling thus far as they break and take the centre. It seems to be do or die for Janae Hardy. She's going to pull this one out. It needs to be behind the jab. And she needs to work, not jump in. Find space for her feet in the pocket behind her jab. As the claret is flowing out of her nose. Eden are just content to stay there, wait for Janae to throw, pick her shots, and all of them seem to be significant. With only 30 seconds left, you've got to imagine that we need punches in bunches from Janae Hardy. Edenden's the aggressor. She's had the more effective of striking thus far. Janae needs to go to work. With just 10 seconds left, we move into the final stanza of the main event and it looks like Jamie Eden and puts an exclamation mark on it. In a thrilling main event. Jamie Eden with the fantastic game plan and mutual respect from both girls. A stellar victory, it seems, is on the hands for Jamie Edenden. Stranger things have happened, but as we cut to the next gen construction replay, we see the right hand over the top of the jab, working. It's almost Janae finding herself stuck in the pocket after throwing. 
And the final mark of the fight is a big takedown from Jamie Edenden. Janae seemingly not being able to build anything. Well, even when there was something effective there, being able to build on top of the jab, being able to build on top of those kicks. It seemed like it was never there. It was Jamie Edenden having the tools to thwart the fight, keep the fight in a pace, in a range, and in a mixed style that she wanted to have it in. And for the final word on this bout, we go to James O'Shea inside the cage to make the main event result official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get set to make this one official, put your hands together for both girls. What a spectacular main event you've been treated to here. And a big thank you to Apex Facades. We go to the judges' scorecards. And they read 30 to 27. 30 to 27. And 30 to 27. All to your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes to the blue corner. Jam!